Starting a part from a sketch is usually one of the first steps in creating parts in 3D CAD applications. The same is true in Onshape. The difference comes from Onshape's ability to remain flexible with a sketch. In other CAD applications, 3D features generally do not tolerate untrimmed or disjoint entities. Onshape's unique handling of sketches and their closed regions leads to faster, more capable part design. Start a new extrude feature. The extrude feature requires faces or sketch regions to be selected as the basis for the extrusion. Selecting an entire sketch from the feature list creates an extrusion from the outer edges of the sketch while treating any interior regions as negative space. In this example, there is no need to trim the sketch despite the presence of multiple contours. Often, a feature is driven by a portion of a sketch instead of its entire geometry. In these cases, select a specific closed region or combination of regions from the sketch. Unlike other traditional 3D CAD systems, you don't need to enable an additional option to leverage this capability. In some cases, it makes sense to drive several features with a single master sketch to maintain their parametric relationships. To do this, select the correct closed regions for the current feature. Closed regions are indicated by gray shading within their interior. The extrude feature does not consume or nest the sketch under the feature in the feature list. Instead, the sketch remains where it was created and automatically hides. It can be used for subsequent features or parts within the part studio. To reuse a sketch for subsequent features or parts, toggle its visibility by clicking the eye icon beside it in the feature list. Hide existing parts to select the desired sketch regions more efficiently. Onshape follows the same logic when creating other types of features. For example, the sweep and revolve features also enable either an entire sketch or specific closed sketch regions to serve as the basis for the feature. 